Para na yan. So this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. I got bribes in Atlanta, she's a Dolly in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Okay, no? for today's topic, we will talk about comparing fractions. No? So, in comparing fraction, alin yung smallest, biggest, or biggest sa smallest. No? So, kailangan muna natin malaman no? kung ano yung mga basic symbols in comparing fraction. Not just a fraction, no? pwede rin comparing decimals or uh, numbers. What are the symbols? So, una, alam na alam, na, alam natin yung symbol na to, no? This is equal sign. Tapos, may symbol din tayong ganito, no? May symbol din tayong ganyan, no? Yan yung natawag na less than or greater than. Alin ba dito yung less than? Alin dito yung greater than? So, marami ditong nalilito, no? Kung alin ba talaga yung less than yung kung pa ganito ba? No? No? O, kaya ito. So, para hindi kayo malilito, no? Ang less than ay yung mga form ng letter L. Tulad nito, less than. So, ito yung ating less than. Yung greater than, ito yung mga kabuo ng letter G. Parang gagawin natin, greater than. Yan. So, ito yung mga kailangan nating symbol para mag-compare ng fractions. Let's start. So, bago tayo pumunta sa fraction, no, mag-compare mag muna tayo ng whole numbers. No? Kapag meron ba tayong 8 and dito ay 10, ano bang ano na to? 8 is blank, 10, less than, greater than, equal ba siya? So, tatandaan nyo, no, yung malaki, alin bang mas bigger yung number, yung 8 or your, yung 10? Siyempre, yung 10, kailangan lagi niyang parang pacman na kinakain niya yung bigger number. So, 8, 10. Mas malaki yung 10. So, kailangan niyang kainin yung 10. So, ibig sabihin, 8 is less than, ito yung less than, 8 is less than 10. No? Pero namang 13, dito naman ay 5. So, ibig sabihin niyan, no? Mas malaki yung 13 kaya sa 5. So, ang symbol magagamitin mo dyan ay ganyan. Mas kakainin niya yung mas malaking number. So, 13 is greater than, ito yung greater than, 5. So, punta na tayo sa fractions. Okay, let's have an example. No? So, insert uh, less than, greater than, or equal sign to the fraction. So, 4 over 3, then 7 over 6. Alin dyan yung mas bigger? Alin dyan? Alin dyan yung mas smallest? No? So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, yung tricks dyan, no? titingnan nyo yung numerator ng dalawang fractions doon. Imumultiply mo rito at simumultiply mo dito para kayo magka-cross multiplication. So, sa so number 1, 4 times 6 so 4 times 6 is 24. Ito naman, 3 multiplied by 7, ito naman ay 21. So, ano ba mas malaki? 24 o 21. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung 24, meaning, the 4 over 3 is bigger than 7 over 6. Kasi, 24 to, pag minultiply mo, to naman is 21. So, ang sagot dyan is greater. Sorry na. Sagot dyan is greater than. No? So, 4 over 3 is greater than 7 over 6. Number 2. So, multiply natin to. 4 times 6 is also is 24. Then, 9 times 5 is 45. So, mas malaki yung 45. 45 yung bigger. So, 9 times 5, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung <coughs> ditong side. So, yun yung kakainin ng ating Pacman. So, ito ay so, 4 over 9 is less than 5 over 6. Number 3 naman. So, multiply natin. 7 times 4 is 28. Then, 
14 times 2 is also 28. So, meaning, no? Ang 7 over 2 and 14 over 4 ay equal. So, to example number 4 and 5, no? Paano naman kapag mixed fraction siya, no? Pag mixed fraction, may whole numbers and fraction. So, pag mixed fraction siya, i-compare mo siya, no? So, di-disregard nyo lang yung whole numbers kapag parehas. Pero pag hindi, no? O alin mas greater doon, yun yung uh, mas bigger sa kanila. So, kapag parehas, no? Pupokus lang kayo sa fraction. Ganun din, no? So, 5 over 6, then 3 over 4. So, 4 times 5 is 20, then 6, and 3. No? 6 times 3 is 18. So, mas malaki yung 20. So, ibig sabihin, no? Yung symbol niya is greater than. So, 2 and 5 over 6 greater than 2 and 3 fourth. So, number 5. So, number 5 naman, disregard natin yung number. Then, multiply natin 1 times 7, no? 1 times 7 is 7. Then, 6 times 3 is 18. Mas malaki yung 18. Pag mas malaki yung 18, so, ibig sabihin, ito yung bigger number. So, yan ay less than ang symbol. So, let's get another example. So, let's practice, no? So, number 1, 2 over 3, 6 over 9. So, 9 times 2 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18. Yan ay equal. No? 9 times 3 is 27. 8 times 2 is uh, 16. So, yan ay greater than. So, 5 times 13 is 65. No? 65. Ito naman, 6 times 11 is 66. Mas Ito naman, no? 8 times 2 is 16. Ito naman, 5 times 7 is 35. So, mas malaki yung 35. So, yan ay less than. So, disregard yung 3. 3. 10 times 1 is 10. Ito naman, 3 times 3 is 9. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung 10. Yan ay greater than. So, ganun lang kadali. So, punta naman tayo rito, no? Uh, find the smallest fraction. Alin dito yung pinaka-smallest na uh, value na fraction. So, A, B, or C. So, so i-compare mo yung tatlo na yan. So, eto muna tayo. Mag-compare muna tayo ng letter A no, and B. So, 3 times 5 is 15. Then, 6 times 2 is 12. So, so ibig sabihin, no? So, ibig sabihin, mas bigger ang A kesa sa B. So, find the smallest. So, ibig sabihin, no? X na to. So, mas maliit yung letter B. So, compare naman natin itong dalawa. So, 9 times 2 is 18. Then, 3 times 7 is 21. So, mas malaki yung 21. So, meaning, X na to. The smallest fraction is letter B, which is 2 over So, kayo naman, no? Mag-iiwan ako ng tanong sa inyo, no? So, which find or find the largest fraction, no? Sa A, B, C, or D. So, that's all, no? So, uh, uh, kung bago ka sa channel ko, no? So, feel free to subscribe, no? Share natin to sa mga nangangailangan. Then, don't forget to like. So, good luck, soldier.